So guys, this MCC mod is a complete lifesaver. For those who've already installed it, you know, you know you can't play Sims without it. It is one of the best things to happen to my Sim game ever. But it can be quite scary and daunting to use it at first. There are so many different options and I know when you first use it, you're like, oh my god, this is like a maze. Um, I don't know what I'm pressing, I don't know what I'm doing. It's super scary. Um, so I hope this tutorial will help you go through all the different options that we have in MCC and also how to use it to benefit your Sims playstyle. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually make sure that you've got it downloaded. The download link will be in the description below. You're going to want to download the MC Command Center and the MC Woohoo. I'm not going to actually show you how to install mods and CC because I've already done a video on that and you can check it that out. Uh, the link will be in the top right hand corner for you and I'll put the link in the description below. Also it would be amazing if you hit that like button too. I need those likes, I need those likes guys. And you know this girl right here is super amazing, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I'm also super new too, but I just need you guys. I honestly cannot do it without you. <laughs> Raw, look at this. Girls cooking mac and cheese in a big fat old cauldron. No witchy spells for her. No, no. Why, why use a cauldron for magic spells when you can cook mac and cheese in a big vat? Right, onto the actual task at hand. So, there are three different ways in which you can use MCC Command Center. And the actual best way and the, the, the way that you're going to get the best use out of it is to actually use it via a computer. This gives you so many different options. There's MCC Settings, MC Cast, MC Career, MC Cleaner, MC Clubs, MC Dresser, MC Occult. MC Population, MC Pregnancy, MC Tuna, and MC Woohoo. Make sure to download the MC Woohoo add-on from the website because if you haven't then this option will not show up at all. The first thing we're going to look at is MCC settings. If you are changing settings via a computer, bear in mind that this will affect all your sims in the whole game and not just your sims in your family. There are different ways to adjust family settings and sim settings, I'll show you that later. So I've clicked MCC settings. So it's brought us to autosave here. I don't actually have that enabled because I think it creates too many saves for my game to handle. And also sometimes I've got bits and pieces that I do that I don't want to save. I might want to go back and change things. So I don't want it to save all my progress like whenever. I just want it to save when I want it to. So I don't actually have that enabled. There's relationship settings here. So you can adjust the friendship decay percentage, romantic decay percentage, you've got relationship culling, allow team parenting. Um, I'm going to enable that because honestly um, I don't see why we can't have that. I understand why they haven't probably done it in The Sims, they have to be very very careful. You can adjust your friendship decay here, for instance if you're sick of losing your friendship because you haven't spoken to a friend for a hot minute. You can adjust it here. You've got romantic decay percentage, which is exactly the same as friendship decay, and breakup settings. So you can actually control where your children live after their parents have broken up. So here is where you would adjust the percentage of where your child will go. Would they stay living in the family home or would they move in with the person that's left? Do you adjust the percentage here? Zero would be that they would always stay in the family home. You can put set it as 50 to give it a randomised chance or 100 for them to like move out completely. And this is breakout move out sim. So this specifies which sim will move out into a homeless household. So you can have like move out the male sim, move out the female sim, move out a random sim or just have it as a default. I honestly don't, I'm not too bothered about who moves out. Let's now look at the notification settings. Don't worry too much about logger settings. That's how MCC logs. Uh, errors and things so I wouldn't worry about that so the next one is notification settings the notifications that you actually see in the top right so show notifications you can enable it disable it or have the default I just have it as a default for now you can have aging or death notifications show death notifications I do want to know if someone's died for instance um, 
if it's friends relate and also people that are related to me i would love to get a not notification to let me know that someone's passed away so nbc birthday notifications is exactly the same as the other notifications and very self-explanatory so you can have a fiddle with that if that's what you want and all these things like show menu setting console command setting and phone text the settings are laid out exactly the same way as the other notification settings so i'm not going to bore you with going through every single tab here And then we've got money settings. Yes, girl, we need this. This is what I'm talking about. We need that child support, y'all. We need that child support. Whether it's your baby mama or your baby daddy, you need that child support from them. So you can have it all married only, unmarried only, or none. I'm gonna put all. So that you can adjust the child support percentage. So at currently it's at one, which I'm just gonna stick at. Um, change bills percent, and this will change the percentage of, of bills that you've got. Um, setting this percentage will increase or decrease the weekly bill amount. The default is zero, which is standard billing amount. Minus 100 would be no bills, 100 would be double bills. I just stick with the default. Honestly, I'm happy with how the bills have been set, but if that's something that you wanna um, play and figure around with you can and then you've got like different ones if you live in an apartment in the city um, auto pay bills I'm gonna set that to enable because I always forget to pay my bills so I'd rather have them auto pay inheritance sim type and when a sim dies the setting determines whether or not they leave any of their household funds to their spouse or children depending on the type of sim that is dying um, actually I've got it currently set as none but I would say like the active family members only should get that and then we're, got, we're into the gameplay settings yeah I'm not gonna look at every single tab here because the video is so long already and I don't want to bore you and they're quite simple I'm just gonna go through the really like juicy ones yes maximum household size this is what I've been looking for so yeah if you've like a cat lady and you've got millions of cats and then you've got no room for like humans um, this is perfect for you uh, but it can slow down your game considerably if you have lots and lots of sims in your household oh my god we've only actually looked at just one tab which was mcc settings we've got all this other stuff to look at and this video i apologize it is so long but there are so many options here and i really wanted to go in depth with it and this is mcc cast so you can set your npc sins or townie in a way that you want so if you've got loads of townies that are just randomly looking like tramps um mismatched clothes you can sort of set it here you can have like male fit or fat limit set offspring change walk style on age up set default walk style set celebrity walk style like so many things here you've got mc career so you can change all your, the careers here if you want your children to be able to quit school you can do that here i'd be careful with teens quit school because if your teens just apply for a part-time job they will leave school just to do that it doesn't differentiate between part-time and full-time here but if you need it for a storyline like a teen runaway then this is perfect for you and you can change the career difficulties here as we want so change career progression to be slower fa faster valid settings are from minus 10 to 10 with a default of zero negative is slower progress and positive is faster so if you're struggling and if you think that the careers that you're on is just taking too long to get promoted in you can change the settings here mc clubs is another one that i don't really look at you can adjust and monitor club members it's, clubs is not something that i really play with or focus on but if you are someone who loves to, to look at us uh, who loves to play with the club then you can look at these settings to sort of help you that you can have uh, adjust the club member count have open members bypass played households so these are things that I'm not going to go in here because it would just take far too long MC dresser is really really cool let's have a look at the makeup settings you can adjust which gender you want to be able to wear makeup in this setting so yes you can allow both genders here so in the makeup outfits option you can actually select which outfits you want makeup enabled on uh, we're looking at makeup ages here and if your sims are one of those freaky weird sims that like to send their children and toddlers off to beauty pageants then you can actually enable that here i honestly hold no judgments 
I've done some weird freaky stuff with my sims, so yeah, knock yourself out. Yes, at last we're all finally on MC Occult. I don't know why it only just shows aliens and not the other occults. Yes, there's abduction settings here, and if you're like me and so fed up with the amount of times that your sims actually get abducted in the middle of something really, really important or important storylines, you can actually disable it here. Hurrah! I'm going to quickly run through the other settings. So we've got abduction start time, abduction time length, hours between abductions, abduction ages, allow NPC abductions, which looks fun, so I've enabled that. Now to look at MC population. And moving settings here is there's so many different options so you've got allow homeless people to move in which is something that i've enabled so they're not just walking around homeless i've also set the homeless apartment percentage to 100. homeless apartment percentage is basically the percentage of homeless people you want to move into city apartments and if you're really mean you can actually move out your elders the moment that they age up i mean fair play to you if, if that's what you want to do and the population settings, you can set how much percentages you want of babies, toddlers, child, adults, elders, male percentage. So you can really customise the world the way that you want. If you want more young people in your world, if you want more elders, you just adjust it here and it's fantastic and I love it. This is MC pregnancy. If you want to take the load off your females, you can actually enable male pregnancy, which is awesome. Allow homeless pregnancy, if that's something that you want to do. Bear in mind that might actually increase the sim population because you're going to get loads of homeless people just falling pregnant. Then we're on to MC woohoo. Woohoo actions. Allow family. Guys, honestly? Yeah, like hell no. Hell no. We are not having incest in our game. Allow teens. I've got that enabled because I would like uh, teens to be able to do boohoo. Same sex, try for a baby. So you can enable that if that's something that you want to do. Allow polygamy. Um, not something that I'm really wanting to do. But if that's something that you've got for a story or really is something that you want in your game, you can. No strings woohoo. Uh, 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 if you want to spice your game, then yeah, why not? Elder try for a baby, like hell no girl, you do not want elders trying for babies, so I'm not even going to make a lick that. So guys, if you don't know what risky woohoo is, I'll let you know here. So basically, you can only fall pregnant in The Sims currently if you actually click the interaction, try for a baby. But this will basically enable you to have a percentage chance of actually falling pregnant just by woohooing and not clicking that interaction so you can adjust the percentage here so let's um increase that to like three percent so use fertility and risky is basically that you can actually use birth control it's a little drink that the sim takes before they um go for woohoo so they don't actually fall pregnant or it prevents pregnancy try for baby percentage so it's basically the, the percentage chance of you being successful and trying for a baby at the moment it's at like 80% so if you want to make it a little bit harder for your sims to fall pregnant you can lower that percentage bed sharing yeah fine I've got that enabled I don't see why that's a problem no jealousy you can enable and disable jealousy movements here Sims nudity, well I do not want to get demonetized guys, so I've not got that enabled and if you want those pixelated images to go away, then you can if that's what you're into. Extreme woohoo, I don't really have that on, um, to be honest, I've got it disabled, that means that basically your sims will woohoo more often, but honestly I've tried this and they woohoo like, like rabbits all the time, 24-7, so I've got it disabled for now. Birth control duration, so you can set the number of hours that the birth control will be effective. I'll set it at 8. So that's all the settings that you can access via a computer. We still have to look at the settings by clicking on a post box and also the individual sim settings. But I'll actually leave that for part 2 because this video has gone on for way too long. Thank you so much for watching part two. Um, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a, a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't done already. And I'll see you for part two. Bye.